Hey guys, what's up? This is Nike, and I'm coming to live with some NBA, I mean with some NCAA 13, and we are a lot. And this is the um, week one of my NBA, of my um, NCAA 13 Rose um, Destiny. To start the season, the team I did choose was the Florida Gators. I'm a big Gator fan. I'm doing a little chomp. I'm doing a chomp in the background, guys. Um, if you want to know what that was, um, This actually does take a while, guys. Stopping the week of I'm going to edit the depth chart. My son, um, this is the quarterback depth chart. I'm good with it. So, without further ado, let's play our first game against. It's my home. I'm playing my. We're gonna play in my in my house, and just for the heck of it, since it's our first game, I'm going to go. We're going to go our no, 09. Oh, awesome! I'm not going to do this um, every time, I just kind of thought this would be a good game to do it since it's our first game. So guys, without further ado, I give you Bowling Green Falcons and the Florida Gators. This is definitely going to be a good one, guys, so I hope you enjoy it. I really love the Gator Stadium. I really, it's really nice. Um, I think it's one of the biggest stadiums in in the whole entire college. In the whole entire college, except for the fact that Oklahoma has a big place too. When you venture into the swamp, you better be ready to play. Ben Hill Griffin Stadium in Gainesville, Florida, one of the most intimidating venues in all of college football. But these guys appear to be loose. They're ready to go, and so are we. Kickoff not far away in Gainesville. It ought to be a great one tonight. Time for college football on ESPN. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit will have the call. This is the Swamp. Ben Hill Griffin Stadium on the campus of the University of Florida. One of the most intimidating atmospheres in college football. 
Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler. My partner is Kirk Herbstreit. Aaron Andrews will join us on the sidelines. Tonight's college football action is brought to you by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. We've got the Bowling Green Falcons and the Florida Gators. inside their opponent's territory. Throws it into coverage and it's intercepted. And he's level at the 31. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. to go. Ball on the 
41. Throw, 
and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. They'll bring him down around the 43 yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times you don't need much more than that. From their own 43 yard line, first down. He lets it fly. This one will fall incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 43. Drops back to pass. He wants it all. He's taken down around the 18-yard line. Now it's first and 10 with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. yard line. It's second down. Inside give. Big play there and now they're looking at first and goal. They've got a solid drive going here. I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. First down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Anticipating the football, he came up with a big defensive play. From the eight-yard line. Second down. They're going to pitch it. He makes it to the six-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Yeah, it was a short game, but a nice tackle there by the senior corner who came in from the outside and made a nice play. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. Keeping their own. 
territory. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Florida is up a score. Look at the throw. He goes downtown. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line, second down. There's the play fake. He sails it long. He almost had it, but it didn't complete. Boy, Brian, this guy drops an interception, and what's ironic about that, going to the meetings the other day, is that this guy's been killing the coaches. He wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. They'll make the sack. Now, oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those, as an offensive lineman, when a film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. Now, Stewart is the putter. Signals for a fair catch. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He drops back. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Inside the 44. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are churning it up a notch. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Down at the 47. I don't know what game plan this offense is running. It might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll set up shot at the 20. Florida is up seven. Quick pass. Back obeys at the 50-yard line. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. And he's tackled right away. From the 30-yard line, first down. After an update from the studio, Reese, what did you got? The Crimson Tide took the field rank number one and wanted to make a statement that there was no question. This is the top team in the land. Back and forth they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. every time he drops back to pass. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. They're crowding the line. Quick release, side end, incomplete. From the one yard line, second down. Touchdowns. The quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the 
section by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. And he hits the PAT. Stewart has the ball set, and he looks ready to get this one deep. And this is just a booming kick. E to the 10. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. The pass was a little bit high, but this kid had no trouble adjusting and making a great play. That could be a check with me right there. Greer, the throw on first down. They'll bring him down around the 47-yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. Trying to confuse the defense here with the audible. He's looking to pass. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. Drops the throw on first down. Fires incomplete. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. It's second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Throws incomplete and sent it to his lineup. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing. And as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. They were forced into a low percentage pass play here on third down. But the good news is they still have a shot at some points. It's fourth down. Fourth down. And the offense is still on the field. Go and deep. Lays it out there. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Wolverines entered today's game ranked ninth in the country. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Michigan, we are seeing the offense jump out in front. The Wolverines have the lead, 7-3. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out on the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move it. Richardson drops to throw. He chucks it downfield. Back close to being intercepted. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Looks to pass. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. He rifles it to the left. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Goes quickly. It's almost intercepted. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. Drops back to pass. He airs it out. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense and alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Here's the play. No, they're going to throw it. play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. And he 
Lee converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Taken at the five. Brought down at the 31. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. Quick throw. Down the sideline. For the point. Touchdown, Florida. He's on the receiving end for another score. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. And he adds the extra point. We've played a half. Florida leads 28-14. Guys, um, I'm gonna take a little break and get a and get a drink. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, let's get this game underway. We are set to start the second half. Both teams are on the field and we're ready to go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. They'll get the ball here at the 25 yard line. Excuse me, guys. He looks to throw on first down. And he's tackled right around the 42 yard line. a little room to make the catch. And he might change the play here before the snap. They hand it off. The ball is loose. The defense has it. So the offense turns over the big skin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And great awareness by the defense to jump on. First down and back to pass. Going for it all to the end zone. In 
incomplete. Almost picked off. Now, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Second and ten. Ball on the 34. And he might want it all here and does. And it's complete for the touchdown. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders.
Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up. And he got it. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Action unfolding in Ann Arbor. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. With an injury update, here's Aaron Andrews. Thanks, Brad. He came off the field holding his lower back. He won't be returning for this game, and they don't feel confident he'll be back anytime soon. Brad, let's send it back upstairs to you guys in the building. Hopefully, he isn't out for too many games. Thanks for that update, Aaron. They'll start at the 28 yard line. He heaves it deep. Oh, he had a shot at the big. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Passes tipped away. That's the kind of field vision you want out of your linebackers. They have to play well in coverage, and they have to be able to break up pass play. So it's second and ten. The ball on the 49-yard line. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That's the third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Throws it a coverage and picked off. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line. First down. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. That could be a check with me right there. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. For six, it's picked off. What a huge play by the defense to prevent the scoring opportunity. I thought for sure they were going to give up at least three. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on their own twenty. Richardson drops back on first down. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what did he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. And he hits him hard at the 12-yard line. Third and long now after the sack. First and ten. Ball on the thirty-one. Throws it and it's tipped away. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. He's at the 40, 
and he's taken down at the 33. From the 33-yard line, first down. Greer drops back to pass. Quick throw. And they make the stop at the 21-yard line. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down to keep the defense guessing. Ten to go. Ball on the 19. And he's hit immediately. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 38. yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. First down and back 
the pass. He's going right. That close to being intercepted. I'm not sure the quarterback saw it when he's getting ready to pass because he stuck his ball right in the passing lane. We're down to just a minute in this game. He's looking to pass. Going long. And he stays in bounds to make the catch. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and ten. Under a minute left. Nice catch. First down and he's knocked out. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 26. He drops back. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. He's pushed out of bounds at the 17-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Fires out to his receiver. The five. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. And yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? They don't get it. A four-play, 74-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. will take over at the 42-yard line. Cut. White to the air on first down. He's going to go for the home run. He really came up with a save by getting a hand on the ball. That had big play written all over it. Second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes the knee. The Falcons don't like the looks of things. They're going to take their first time out. From the 44-yard line. Third down. You're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. Quarterback will take a knee. Bowling Green's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. They'll start at the 48. to pass. And he's going to be sacked 
for a loss. They're calling an audible. Bowling Green will use their final timeout. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Green pass. He's got his hat back. Touchdown, Falcons. Only a one-score difference now after that big, big touchdown. He flips the uprights with the extra point. There's no way that they can come back. So guys, that was the first episode of in the of NCAA 13. Um, I will catch you in the next where I think we will. I think we play. Um, and then in the third game we play the balls. I know that. Next time we will be taking on the Hassan and Haggies. And guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Later guys.